In our previous video, we saw how we can use an inner product to find a length or a norm function for vectors. From the norm function, we can actually create the notion of distance uh, for vectors. Because the idea is the following. If we have two vectors, say u and two vectors v, if we think of these as arrows in space, we can position the arrows so that they have a common point right here. Well, then we're going to say that the distance between them, because these vectors are pointing at at points, right? The distance between them is really just going to be the vector that points from one head to the other. And so this would be u minus v. And it doesn't matter which direction you go because uh, the length of this vector shouldn't change either way. So the distance between them is going to be the length of their difference vector. And that's how we define the distance function inside of an arbitrary vector space. So the distance function, which we'll call distance of u and v, it's the length, the norm of u minus v. So if we want to compute the length of a vector, let's say an R2, V1, or U, which will be seven and one, and then V, which is three and two, the distance between these two vectors, we would compute this to be, uh, well, this would just be the length of U minus V, that part is what we just said defined a moment ago. And so as you compute the difference function, you're gonna get three, well, seven minus three, which is four, and then one minus, uh, 2, which is a negative 1. Now, the norm doesn't really care about negatives or positive here because when you take the sum of squares, you're going to get the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared, which gives you the square root of 17, like so. And I want to mention that with this example here, I deliberately took vectors in R2, which we can identify with points in the plane, because you're probably used to the distance formula being something like the following. The distance is equal to the square root of let's say x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. You know, like a traditional analytic geometry type course. Now notice what we did here, that for each of the coordinates, we subtracted the x-coordinates, we subtracted the y-coordinates, which x is just the first coordinate, y is just the second coordinate in our list there. So we took the difference of the coordinates, then we squared them, added them together inside of a square root. Oh wait, that's exactly what this formula is doing right here. If you, you subtract the coordinates, when you subtract the vectors, you, sub, you subtract component-wise. That's what we see right here. Then when you take, because uh, this, this right here is going to be u minus v dot u minus v. And so when you do this, um, you're going to be taking the sum of squares and all inside the square root. Don't forget that part. So actually, the usual distance formula, sometimes called the Euclidean distance formula, is really just the manifestation in two dimensions of this more general formula of distance, the length of the difference of two vectors.